Okay, this video is going to show you how to basically use the cut, intersect, and join tools. So I'm just going to make a couple of 3D shapes. One is just a rectangle. And I'm also going to create a sphere. Both of these are currently set up as new bodies. I can, if I want to treat these as individual components, I can go create new component to convert those. I'm not going to worry about that for this, but it is always a good idea to treat them. So we can sort of see that they're nowhere near overlapping at this point. I'm just going to get a right view. And what we're going to do is take that one, move it, I've got a bit of an intersect here. Now, these two bodies are able to be treated separately. What we're going to do is use one as a cookie cutter. So I'm going to modify and combine. So the target body and then the tool body. And if I choose cut, so the tool body is the one that we're using like a little cookie cutter. So you can see it's chopping out that section. I can get the intersection, which will just leave that remainder. And if I want to make those into new components, I can do that as well. So we've got join, combine them, cut, uses cookie cutter intersect keeps just the overlapping areas. And that's if the objects are already 3D. So let's just say we're going to have say, a sphere here. As a new shape. Now I'm going to create a new sketch on the top down plane and let's just move so we've got that one centered and I'm just going to draw a little pattern inside the shape so I've got a new sketch you can see it's been drawn around that axis. Now I'm going to want to make that 3D. So at the moment I can't easily select that shape because of body 3. So I'm going to make that one invisible. Highlight the area I want to use. Go modify, press pull. And then I'll turn back on the other body. What we can see here is that the shape is cutting inside so as soon as you take a shape or a sketch into a 3D plane by default it works as a cut I can actually tell that to be an intersection on that object you can see it's got a little curve at the top edge I could tell it to join the two which means I have that sphere and then I'm pulling that extra shape out of it. It's quite useful for being a cut tool. Where this is also quite useful is if I actually were to sketch some text. As before, we're going to move that to the top, so remember the M key is for move. Just going to drag that writing in, I'll position it where I want it. Modify that, press pull it. Once again, same problem with body 2. And we can pull out our shape. 
click OK. And what we now sort of see is that text has been used as a cutter to actually stencil in the text hello onto the shape.